everyone, it's Abby from Feather and Fossil Interior Design. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create a studio apartment on Foyer Neo. I've drawn up my studio apartment and I'm going to start by adding a kitchen. I'm using the kitchen catalogue option on the left hand panel. I'm narrowing my search by style and unit type to find exactly what I want. Once I've installed one unit, I'm using the clone tool to make a full bank. I'm now adding a wood worktop from the catalogue, using the rotate and resize functions to make it fit. Next, I'm adding a sink from the catalogue. I'm using the punch tool, top middle of the screen, to punch it seamlessly into the worktop. I'm now adding a tap and amending the texture using the texture option on the left hand side panel. I'm adding a shelving unit from the catalogue and again amending the texture to make it bespoke. I'm then adding lots of jars and accessories from the catalogue, using the flip tool to quickly rotate them into the correct alignment. I'm now moving to the living room come bedroom space. I'm using a sofa bed from the catalogue due to the small nature of the studio apartment. I'm rotating and resizing it to fit. I'm then adding a screen to the design to create a semi-permanent division within the space. I'm now going to upload a texture that I have saved to my desktop to create a bespoke rug for the area. I can apply this by selecting the uploaded texture and clicking on the rug. I'm now moving to the hall area to add some hooks for coats and outerwear. I'm adding items from the catalogue and resizing them to fit my space. I'm adding a scarf that is already on a hook and I'm going to apply the invisible material texture to remove that from the design so it is now hang hanging on the hooks I have picked. Next is onto the shower room. I'm adding a catalogue shower cubicle and using the rotate and resize functions to fit the space. I'm then adding a shower head using the free movement tool, top middle of the screen, to position it perfectly in my shower. I want to use spotlights in the shower room, so I'm selecting one from the catalogue and then swapping to the 2D ceiling plan mode so I can use the grid lines to line them up neatly. I can then swap back to the 3D mode to check they look right. So here is my finished studio apartment with bathroom area, hallway and storage section, living room and bedroom space and kitchen diner. I'm now going to take my render by clicking take render in the top right hand corner. I have pre-saved some views again on the top right corner and I can now jump easily between camera positions. For a render preview I'm using the bottom button in the middle. The render preview will appear on the right. Once I'm happy I'm clicking take render. I'm using the 4k option for the best quality. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to try Foyer's 14 day free trial. Click the link in the description below. See you in the next video.